crafty people welcome to a design team project for scrapbooking with me what do you think of simple stories bliss so i used this for my little bear tag and it gave me some ideas on making some cards i thought about doing a journal but then i was like i'm not sure i have enough paper left to do a journal and i'm just now seeing that I did not put a sentiment area on this card, so I'm going to have to do that. Um, I picked these adorable little bears. Are they not like the cutest thing ever? So the Simple Stories, um, I believe it only comes in 12 by 12. Don't quote me. I will link you in the description box down below. It comes with this sticker collection and then you can also get an ephemera pack which i have already opened and used so um yeah i love the bear so this is the paper with the butterflies on it and even though i covered up a lot of it because your eye knows those are butterflies because of the wings and stuff it's still to me it, it just screams butterflies so um I just made this little tag shape myself and then I did my flower clusters, used some shabby trims and lace and I made this bow and then this is a tag from the ephemera uh, collection. Today is your day. And what we're going to do at the end of this video, and I'm going to cut this to fit to make a sentiment area. But um, what we're gonna do at the end of this video is we're going to do flower clusters. We're going to um, have a process video with flower clusters. And I finally learned what to call it. It's not a tutorial, it's a process video. All right, here's our next card. And I just used some scraps of laces in my stash. I kind of made this little skirt down here with lace, my little cluster and my uber cute little little bear with her big hat on <laughs> so really really cute papers this usually is not my type of paper to work with but i had a lot of fun and in just to tell you in this card i used a large spellbinders grand nestability die as my um my frame and in this one i just um, outlined it with some lace from my stash and that one pops up and voila. And I had run out of this paper. So what I did was I had some little scraps. So I put a strip at the bottom and a strip at the top. And then I made this one go all the way across. Card number two. Oh, there we go. Um, we'll go with another bear. And then we'll do the last one that doesn't have a bear. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. So this one had kind of the purplies. So I wanted to use this sheet that has a lot more purple in it. I made another tag um, just free handed, kind of offset it a little bit. Um, this is fussy cut from one of the 12 by 12 sheets. This Hello Sunshine is from uh, the Ephemera pack. I just have it popped up a little bit. All of these, I failed to mention, are shaker cards. <laughs> um, in case you didn't notice, I used that same lace on that one as I did this one. And my little flower clusters with my little sprays. I decided to add little bows coming out of my butterflies this time. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Um, and then I had this bow in my stash at the top. And it pops up like that. Card number three. All right. Card number four is this one. And this is a cutout. Um, there's one of the 12 by 12 sheets that has like six different like cut aparts. And this is one of them. And it says, share your beauty with the world. And so I just die cut the shape the center out and put it in the background of the shaker. And then I use the outside, um, you know, on the outside so you could still see the butterfly, you know, coming out, if that makes any sense whatsoever. 
I decided to use black. I, um, cause I used this black and white paper and then the butterflies, um, are black. I just used like this color and I've got some lace poking out here. This is a Spellbinders shaped die, Grand Nest Abilities die. And voila. And that's card number four. Um, just a reminder, I do sell all my cards on eBay. So if you're interested in any of these cards, they will be listed on eBay. Links will be in the description box down below. I hope you'll hang around for the process video. I have had a lot of requests for um, how I do my flower clusters. And I'm giving away as much information as I can on how to do that and make them look like this. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll use my coupon code that will also be in the description box down below. I believe it's RM15 for 15% 15 discount off your entire order at Scrapbooking With Me. All right. Have a happy scrappy day, guys. See you next time. Stay tuned. Yesterday, I, um, <laughs> I made a video and I was showing you how to do flower clusters. And it was like a 45 minute video. <clears throat> and at some point in time, I didn't realize that the video stopped and then started a new video. So when I put it together, it just had the back half of the video and we only altered or uh, did one flower cluster. So I figured let's do some more. So I'm going to show you this collection first and then the next collection in the next video. And you'll understand why there's a shorter video in the next one. So I already did this one just to kind of get my mojo going this morning and it's beautiful. I love the paper and we'll talk about that more in the project share, but <clears throat> so you've already seen this card and I've got a little bit of stuff here. Let me, let me actually grab a little bit more. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. I got some new stuff yesterday. All right. So I grabbed a bit more. So now this is what we have as far as our, <clears throat> like our filler. And... <clears throat> Got some flowers here, some wild orchid craft flowers. <coughs> Excuse me, I <coughs> I was choking a minute ago on my breakfast. Fortunately, I had a cup of tea handy. But for those of you that watch my vlog, you know I have a cat named Domino. <coughs> and as soon as I started coughing, she was dead asleep. She jumped down and she came right over to my state, my my work area, and. Was I trying to find out? Was I okay? It was so cute. <clears throat> okay. Let's, you know what? Let me see if this is helpful. Ooh, look at that. That is awesome. Let's, let's do that. It's a little bit bright for me, <clears throat> but all right. So what I was thinking Something along the lines of that, and <clears throat> can you guys hear her meowing? <laughs> And that and then I have this bow I have to put it at the top so that's an a no-brainer I'll just go ahead and put that at the top of our tag looking <clears throat> part of the card and then
so many people <clears throat> I have learned. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> Here she comes. <laughs> yes, I have your kennel out, Domino. You're going bye-bye today. Going to get a bath. <clears throat> so many people say that to the eye, it's more pleasing to have things in groups of threes. I don't always follow that, and you're going to see that in a minute. But <clears throat> I do think they're on to something. And I like to use hot glue for my flowers. I've seen people use fabric tack, but not for me. It's not quick, doesn't dry quick enough. So I like the hot glue because it only takes a few seconds to set. All right, this is the fun part. I don't think we're going to use any of this. I used this, let me show you, <clears throat> on this card, and it looked really nice tucked in with the flowers. But I don't think it's necessary. <clears throat> There's a lot of purple going on here. <clears throat> so we may just try to use mostly the white. This one doesn't really, it's not very full. Set that one aside. This one's more full. And I show these in every haul video when I get these. You just pick these up at your local craft store and they're cheap, especially when they're on sale. <clears throat> you buy these in the floral department. Okay. So <clears throat> we're using this really pale pink. So fortunately, I have this really pale pink, and, you know, I'm not always sure exactly where I'm going to put stuff. So sometimes I'll just, and it's hard for me because I'm not looking directly down at it like you are. It's easier to tell when it's like closer to me and I can see it. better but I do think this is okay all right let's tuck those in and again with the hot glue uh you want to be sure you're putting glue on the right side because like see this side is not as pretty as that side and you want the prettier side to be what's more exposed. And then sometimes <clears throat> I'll just lay like my other color. I'll glue it right onto that. Same other piece to look like they just are you know col those colors are mixed together in the cluster so there's see how easy there we're done with that one <clears throat> I'm gonna have to cut another one and you need to cut them strategically so like this one we have some bare spots on that side but not on this side so that's why you want to tuck it in that way there we go 
and any of you watch This Is Us last night? Oh my goodness. Love that show. Alright. So, there you go. Those are our two little flower clusters. And I said in my other video, let me say it in this one, when you're working with acetate, you want to be careful, as careful as you can, not to get glue strings across your acetate. Because when you go to get them off, sometimes it leaves, it messes up your acetate. And <clears throat> so do your best not to. You can get them off, but it, like I said, sometimes it does mess it up. So there's our first one. Let's, let's go with this one. <clears throat> and I had kind of, I had kind of laid that how I thought would look good. But... I really do want to put a bow. At the top. Because that's supposed to look like a tag. <clears throat> and. But. You know I could put it down here. And then I could put. The today is your day. Like that with another bow because I can't do it I can't really do it there because I don't want it to cover up the <coughs> the bear so let's see I need to fluff out this flower a little bit All right, let's go ahead and put our flowers at the top. <clears throat> I just love these little bears so much. And I'll be honest with you, although I love tear bears, I don't know if all of you know what a tear bear is, but I do know some of you know what a tear bear is. Let me show you what a tear bear is. <laughs> I have some. Hold on a second. <clears throat> so this is a tear bear. <laughs> and I didn't make this. I bought this because I love tear bears. <laughs> I used to make them. They weren't quite this cute. I wasn't this good at them. But adorable. I love them. And these guys remind me of Tear Bears. I also like, <clears throat> as you guys probably know, these bears. And I don't consider myself someone who is just like a bear collector, but I guess in a way I sort of am. <clears throat> but I'd love to have one of these one day, but they're like... Um, Anywhere from $100 to $200. All right. So we're going straight across here, but now we want to kind of come down. So we're going to angle these. Like that. And that looks really nice. So, I wanted to kind <clears> of <throat> offset a little bit with another little flower cluster down here. And then let's see. We add our bow. <clears throat> and kind of move the bow up a little bit. And the bow will set there. And then I 
and do the tag like that. The only bad thing about this is the knot right here is really big. I want to kind of mash it, but all right. So I'm not putting my hot glue right on my acetate. I'm putting it on the edge of the uh, the trims because if you put it on your acetate, it's going to melt and it's going to go shrivel up. So be careful not to do that. Now, I'm letting it cool a little bit because I'm going to kind of dip it in that and kind of come up a little bit onto the acetate. And then I'm going to hold it and let that set. So you could go with just the flower cluster there and this, but <clears throat> I really think this is necessary. I really do. I could even could probably cut this down just a little bit because it seems a little bit big. start with our blue flower and notice a lot of times I want my cluster to kind of at some point hang over see how this is hanging over and like here is hanging over if you just do it like straight across I don't know it just doesn't look as natural to me so I'm going to put this one going outward. Do it like that. So I'm pushing the flower in so it, it's getting more tucked underneath this flower. <clears throat> so I'm pushing it in and holding it, giving it about 10 seconds to set. And then <clears throat> we'll put our last flower right there. <clears throat> All right, on this one we're going to use a little bit of this purple And then I've got some pink. Perhaps some white. <clears throat> so you can't really see the butterfly paper in the background, but you can. Does that make any sense? You know this is a butterfly. This is a butterfly. You even know that down here, these are butterflies, even though you don't see the whole image. And I love that. So, yeah, we covered up the gorgeous paper, but your eye still knows those are there. <clears throat> So this is the part where you kind of have to like lift up your flowers and sometimes I even tuck these in between the actual layers of the flowers. So not necessarily underneath but in between the layers. And sometimes you get one like this and you need to cut off 
that stuff. I had to just look at the camera to make sure I was filming. All right. Let's tuck these purple ones up top away from the purple flowers because you don't want it to be too matchy matchy and i'm pretty symmetrical i like things to be the same on both sides if that makes any sense to you because if you watch me regularly you know that i am ocd and i don't know if in crafting that's a good thing <laughs> so i told you to be careful about the glue strings and there we go with the big old glue string i just had to get off okay so there's pink Okay, let me go get some more pink. Yesterday I picked up a couple of nice bushes of this stuff and it was, they were normally $12.99, but they were 50% off. So I want more at uh, damn glue string kind of at the bottom part Okay, now let's stick some down here on this little cluster. And on this one, you can use some, you know, it's okay if they go up on the bare, the image a little bit because, you know, this is our focal area. So, I can put like a bigger spray. That's a little bit too big, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. That looks really nice. Now let's see if we can tuck some pink in there. There we go, and that's it. That's all we're gonna do on this little cluster right here. And then <clears throat> I'll do this later because we're just doing flower clusters right now. All right, so this is our final card. And again, I have already kind of decided, because this is a tag die and I wanted to go hold on a second yeah let's do that I don't want the bow to cover too much of the image. But 
but I want the flower to cover that hole. There we go. Love it. Okay, so this is a tag dye, and although it's got a pretty scallop on the end, I wanted to do this like little, like a little lace, kind of almost like a skirt on it. And then I thought we would alternate these and oh maybe we'll add a couple of those at the end <clears throat> okay let's do that so I'm just going to go ahead and take my hot glue since we already know what we're doing. I don't want to cover, you know, my entire um, sequence there. And I certainly don't want to cover up my sentiment. Choose happiness. Okay, I like it. <clears throat> All right. Let's see on this one if we can use these. So I'm just going to cut these apart. Sometimes I get, you know, I'll cut something thinking it's going to look good, and it doesn't. And so then I just don't use it. And this may just be, maybe, the case. Let's see. Because we want it to look natural. We don't want it to look like... We placed all this stuff here. Okay, not digging it. We use that on something else. If you can hear my dog snoring, <laughs> someone told me the other day they were listening with headphones and it was the first time they could hear my dog snoring, but she's almost always snoring in my videos. All right, this is what we're going to do because this looks good. So I'm going to cut up some of the pink ones because I think that would be nice to mix in the pink since we don't have any pink flowers going on in that cluster So I have a little bit of white. Let me go ahead and glue those in. Okay. 
So this is actually going down under the cluster on the, the layer with the lace, but it looks like it's part of the cluster. If you are following me and this one as well. Oh, damn, we're at 30 minutes already. Now I'm going to be careful with this one that I don't cover up my, my sentiment, but we need a one to match. And you pretty much always want something coming off of the end of your cluster. At least I do. And I got a lot of glue strings on this. Always, always, if you do get glue strings, give them a chance to dry before you go take them off. Okay, there we go.